required and as a consequence of that the cost of living continues skyrocketing but as you know anybody will tell you there are only four things in the world that need that a government needs to address seriously the first thing is food you must keep food away from the control of the ordinary fluctuations of uh, of prices on, on world markets on the open markets number two you must control the cost of health number three you must control the cost of uh, education and number four you must control the cost of transport and if you look at our government all those sectors it has done nothing to intervene so if the government does intervene and makes those sectors no go areas for cartels and they do no gooders and the thieves this country would not be going through the mess it is going through Somebody will be very comfortable living on the street and sleeping on the, rough on the street but having food in his stomach and being able to be treated when he's sick. It doesn't require a house over food. It doesn't require shelter over health. It doesn't require shelter over education. And it needs to move around. So our government has literally failed to address the key areas and there are four. Health, food, health, education and transport. Those four areas have failed. Those are the four areas that burden the citizen most. So you need a government that can take political action to address those issues and see how it can cushion the ordinary person from the, 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 the vagrances of, the, of, 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 of those commodities or the effects of those commodities on their lives. But when I look at it, I don't see it in uh, President William Ruto, especially now that he has surrendered his mind to the mind of the IMF and the World Bank. IMF and the World Bank have just one purpose, to create client states. And if you look at the policies that have been rolled out by the Jubilee, the Kenya Kwanzaa government, they are largely designed to make Kenya a client state, to put Kenya on its knees, so that you can keep on depending, moving around with a beggar's ball. Production in Kenya has become too expensive. So everything is going to shrink, the economy is going to collapse, and you shall begin begging all over the world. And you shall be a perfect client state for the West. So William Ruto, I think, is empty. This head is empty in terms of uh, what are the ex existential threats that face the black people, that face Africans. He swallowed the issues of the white man, the way they are packaged. He doesn't understand uh, chronic capitalism, how it works. So he has now become an agent of the West to destroy an African state. And some of the things he is doing are bordering on prison. That prisonable and maybe going down the line he might be impeached if he doesn't change course and begin understanding what article one says that the people of kenya are sovereign and when they elected him there was no way in his manifest where he said that the imf and the world bank are going to govern kenya when he gets into office he promised to govern this country but he is destroying it everything is crumbling in one year it's not acceptable so he needs to shape up or, or he might get impeached down the line. I don't think his own peace will die with him. They're going to get a point whereby he can be impeached if he doesn't change course and begin doing things that benefit this country, not, not to benefit the Western powers, not to benefit the World Bank. Right now he wants to sell the assets. These assets, some of them were put up before he was born. Now he wants to come and sell them. What will the future gener generations have as a state? Those who run the government in the future, what will they rely on to run this government? We have already talked of food. We are talking of transport. We are talking of uh, education. We are talking of health. If these things are sold, how, how will the future governments finance those key ingredients of a modern society? So for me, I think William Ruto is going overboard. And where we are right now, we might be facing an impeachment very soon. Recently, we had the my person talk report being uh, tabled by, uh, by the Human Shumba and uh, all the district leaders in the And one of the key issues they were agitating for was the high cost of living. It is now missing from the final report. What do you say as a legislator in the Senate? I think that Boma's process was a waste of time. There was a waste of time. If you look at the solutions that are provided, I've simply re regurgitated what Ruto has been saying all along. Looks like Ruto is preparing for a leader of opposition so that in case he loses the next elections, he will still be in parliament as a leader of the opposition. 
And there's no other thing that I'm talking about. They are trying to create a job for Mudavadi. What is that? Is it a national issue? Let him fix the cost of living. Let him fix the cost of petroleum. Let him remove the taxes that are driving this country crazy. Let him trim down on the cost of the cost of running government. And the people will thrive. Let them allow people to produce. But as I've said, what he's doing is going to lead to an impeachment. He's, he has allowed the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank to capture this country. And I don't think that's something we can live with for very long. And that's all I can say. I don't see that. The only people could end that was the Supreme Court, but the Supreme Court has sold its soul. Look at what they've done to the electoral system. They even manufactured something called uh, spoiled ballots. When the Constitution does not allow for spoiled ballots because the Constitution anticipates a digital election, not a manual election. Let us go digital. Let us go the Brazilian way and we shall resolve all these things. Anybody, know, anybody who wins will be known automatically. Anybody who loses will be known automatically. But the Supreme Court went to bed with those who don't want a digital election in this country. And that's why the mess is. It's not Raila to fix. It's the Supreme Court to get its act together and accept that the system of election that we have under the Constitution of Kenya, which can give us a simple, accurate and verifiable election, is a digital election. And verifiable by who? Verifiable by the voter. I want to be able to vote. I'm given a serial number. When I go home, I go out to the computer, to the website of the IBC. I can trust my vote and know that you went to the country that I voted for. That's the level of verifiability we need. No this video, no, no, not all this nonsense the Supreme Court has been putting us through. It has totally messed up the Constitution and the problem is the Supreme Court, not Raila. Thank you. First of all, the Finance Act does not come to the Senate. Because of the machinations we had with the, in the last government and the kind of senators we had, they agreed that the budget will not be done in the Senate, it will only be done by the National Assembly. So it is something we are fighting to change. But then when you go to the National Assembly, there is something they call the budget office. The budget is brought, it's dumped there, taken to the budget office where all, all manner of things are traded. And then the, the assembly simply votes on the report of the budget, the budget committee. They don't interrogate the budget. And there's a lot of budgeted corruption that is destroying this country that we need to focus going forward on Chapter 12 and see to it that public finances are controlled by the people of Kenya. Right now, even if you look at the structure of the, the, the Treasury, the Treasury under Article 225, Clause 1, is supposed to be independent. But the Treasury we have right now is headed by a Minister for Finance, a PS of Finance appointed by the President, which means the President controls the money of this country, when the Constitution does not give him any of those powers. That's why those are the kind of problems we have. We have to go back to the design of the country and make sure we get the design correct. Otherwise, everything will collapse. Okay.